Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today I'm going to be making an art doll that's themed around the Northern Lights. I originally wasn't sure what creature this was going to be, but you guys really wanted to see a cat one. So we're going to be making a cat that's themed around the Northern Lights. So I'm going to use all the different colors and stuff, and we're even going to add some glow-in-the-dark features. Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with the clay pieces first. I'm going to work on the head first. I have a simple little tinfoil base that I'm starting off with, and I'm just going to quickly cover this in a nice layer of clay. I'm going to smooth everything out and get a basic shape to work with first. Once I have everything smooth, I'm then going to start working on the details. So I'm going to start adding the eyes, nose, and mouth. I'm going to start with the eyes first. I'm going to take two equal amounts of clay, roll them into nice little balls, and I'm going to place them on the face where I want the eyes to go. Once I have those in place, I can then start making some strips of clay to go under the eye and over the eye to make the eyelids. So I'm going to place those. I usually place these the same time on both eyes. That way I can make the eyes look identical. So I'm going to place the eyelids. I'm going to blend them into the rest of the face, and then I can move on to making the nose and the mouth. So for this, our muzzle is a little bit too thin, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more clay on the sides of them to make the cheeks. So I want to kind of shape the muzzle just a little bit more before we start adding the details to it. And then once I like how that looks, I'm going to move on to adding the mouth. So I'm going to quickly sketch out the shape of the mouth that I want. I'm going to make sure it's even on both sides so it looks identical. And then once I know I like it, I'm going to move on to adding more detail to this. So I'm going to use my tools to kind of dig in a little bit more and really define the shape of the mouth. And then after that, I'm going to move on to making the nose. So I like the basic shape right now, so I'm not going to add any extra clay. I'm just going to take my tools and start sculpting the shape of the nostrils into the face. I'm going to use my tools also to kind of line out around the shape of the nose. That way I know where the nose starts and the rest of the face begins. Just to kind of give me a better idea of where to add the fur when we fur this later. And then once I'm done with the nose, I'm going to move on to adding a little bit of texture to the rest of the face. This isn't for detail or anything, this is just so when we add the fur to the face, it has just a little bit more to grab onto, and it just makes it easier to glue the fur onto the face. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to clean up the edge around the base of the head. Also, while I was working on this, I decided to go back and add some little dimple marks where the whiskers would be. After that, I'm just going to put our clay head in the oven for about 45 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Next, we're going to be making the clay feet. So I'm going to start off with four even amounts of clay. I'm going to kind of roll them out a little bit and then squish them onto the countertop. That way they can stand on their own. Then I'm going to take some wires. These are going to help us add these to the wireframe later. And I'm just going to push these into the tops of our clay pieces. After that, I'm going to build up the clay a little bit more on the front of the foot, and then I'm going to blend this in and start breaking it up into individual toes. So I'm just trying to get the basic shape of the foot right now, so I'm just kind of trying to figure out where the toes are going to be and everything like that. So what we're going to do with the claws is I'm going to be making these out of Instamorph and gluing them into place. So right now, I'm just going to add some holes for where we're going to glue those into place. And then we need to add our paw pads at the bottom. So I'm just going to roll out some balls of clay for each little toe pad and the main foot pad, lay those out, and use my tools to refine the shape of them. Once I'm done making all four of the feet, I'm going to put these in the oven just like we did with the clay head. I'm going to put them in for about 45 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Once all of our clay pieces have finished baking, they've cooled to touch, we can start painting them. Now normally when it comes to painting the face, I tend to do the entire face first and then work on the eyes, but because the body is such a dark color, I'm going to be doing the light colored eyes first, and then we can move on to painting the rest of the body of the face. So I'm going to lay out some blue as a basic primer for our eyes, and then I'm going to slowly add some green to this as I blend it together so it fades from blue to green. Once I'm done with the color of the eye, I'm going to move on to adding the pupil to the very middle of it. So I'm going to go for kind of a wide kind of oval shape for this. Once I have that painted into place and it's dried, I can start adding a little bit more detail around this, adding a few highlights and just extra detail to the eye. And then I'm going to primer the rest of the face with a black. So I'm going to go around the eyes really carefully and then I'm going to paint the entire face black other than the eyes. 
And then I'm going to move on to painting the nose. I'm going to go for kind of a pink that's more on the grayer color of pink. And then I'm just going to kind of lightly go over that. I don't want it to be really bright or anything. I want it to look very natural. And then lastly, I want to bring out the mouth a little bit more. It just kind of blends too much into the rest of the face. So I'm going to add some white and kind of blend that into the black so it's more of a gray. And it's just a little bit lighter so it stands out from the rest of the face. And then for painting the feet, I'm going to be painting these a solid black color and then just adding a little bit of a highlight to the toes. The only color that I decided to add to the feet was the color of the paw pads and I'm just going to go with a blue, that way they kind of stand out a little bit. And then once we're done painting and everything has dried, I'm going to glue in place our claws that we made. So I made these ahead of time, they're just made out of Instamorph, which is a moldable plastic. I added color to them so the claws could be different colors, and I'm just going to glue them into place in those little holes that we sculpted for the claws. So I'm going to have to let this dry for a little bit, and then after that, I'm going to resin over all of our clay pieces to help protect them. So I'm going to resin over all the feet, and then for the face, I'm just going to be resining over the eyes, the nose, and a little bit of the mouth. Next, we're going to move on to the sewing. So I have a pretty simple pattern for the body and the tail. Now the tail, I ended up doing the sewing for this in a vlog quite a while ago. But the pattern's pretty simple, it's just a basic shape, and then I kind of broke it up into a bunch of strips of different colors of fur fabric. I sewed all those strips together and that made the shape of the tail. Then I'm just going to take the two sides of the body and I'm going to sew these on each side of the strip of fabric. So this is also kind of running down the back of our cat as well. Next, we're going to take the fabric for the legs. So the legs have two pieces of fabric for each one, an inside part and an outside part. The back legs are slightly different in shape than the front legs, but we're going to do the same thing to both. We're just going to sandwich the two pieces together for each leg and sew down the fronts of them only. Once we have that sewing done, we can then start putting our art doll together. So I'm going to start with a very simple wire frame and I'm going to start adding everything to it. So I'm going to take the fabric for the body and tail, I'm going to cut some holes for the wires for the legs to go through, and I'm going to slide our fabric over our wire frame. After that, I'm going to take our clay head and I'm going to glue this to the wire for the neck, let that dry, and then take the fabric for the neck and glue it around the base of the head. You'll want to let that dry as well, and then what we can do is we can move on to stuffing and closing up the body and tail. And so we're going to start sewing from the very bottom of the chin, and we're going to just go all the way down the body until we get to the tip of the tail. And while we're doing our sewing, we're going to kind of stuff as we go. Now before we add our legs to the body, what we're going to do is we're going to shave down all of this extra fur. We don't need the whole body to be this fluffy, so I'm going to take my hair trimmer and just go over everything and shape it the way I want it. After that, I'm going to start adding the legs. I'm going to start with the front legs and I'm going to take the fabric for them and I'm going to sew them into place. The inside portion of the fabric will go under the wire and then the outside fabric will go over the wire, kind of creating like a shoulder blade. You just want to make sure that the wire ends up inside of the fabric before you close everything off. Then I'm going to take our clay legs, the wire sticking out of the very top of them, we're going to use that and we're going to wrap them in place on the wire frame. So I'm going to take a thinner gauge wire, this one is a 20 gauge, the body wire is like a 14 or a 16, I can't remember, and I'm just going to wrap these together. We're going to make sure they're nice and secure, and then we can take the fabric for the legs and start gluing them around the bases of our clay feet. Once our glue has dried, we can then start stuffing and closing up the back of the leg. Once you have that all closed up, we can then take our hair trimmers and start shaping the front legs. And then for the back legs, we're basically doing the same thing. We're going to sew our fabric into place, add the clay legs to the wire frame, glue the fabric around the bases of those clay feet, stuff and close up and shave. Okay, so our cat's body is pretty much done. Now we need to add our final details. So I'm going to make some ears real quick. So for this, I made a very simple pattern for it, just a kind of more rounded triangle. I'm going to cut out some felt for the inside of the ear, and then I'm going to glue this onto the backing of our black fabric that we've been using. I'm going to cut these out once the glue has dried, and then I'm going to glue them in place on the head. To decorate these a little bit more, I cut some little tufts of fur fabric for the other colors that we've been using, and I'm going to add them inside of the ears. So I'm going to glue those in place and then we can start furring the rest of the face. Also we need to fur the feet. 
So when we fur the face, what I'm going to be using is really short fluffy trimmings from the fur fabric that we've been using so it matches and everything. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my fabric glue and I'm going to paint this onto the surface where I want my fur to stick. So I'm going to lay that out, make sure it's only in the places that I want the fur to stick to, and then I'm going to start laying out my fur trimmings. And I've recently discovered using tweezers for this makes it lay out a lot smoother and it doesn't look so lumpy. Also, I end up wasting a lot less fur trimmings and I can save some for later when we use another creature that has black fur. So I'm gonna finish furring the face and then I'm also going to do the same thing to the tops of the feet, that way they're nice and fluffy as well. And then I have one final extra detail that I wanna to add to the body. So I'm gonna be gluing these little kind of, they're kind of like stars in place. It's basically a little bit of fishing wire with some glow in the dark paint at the end of it. And I'm gonna glue these all over the top of the body. That way we can kind of have it look like there's floating stars when we have this piece in the dark. Now I did have a lot of trouble filming this. I think I kind of got it to work. I'm gonna see if I can show it to you guys, but it looks really good in person. It's just really hard to film. Okay guys, and this is the piece that I made that is Northern Lights themed. I had a lot of fun with it. The only thing is, I wish I could have done a little bit more glow-in-the-dark features, but I still really like it. And also, I wish it showed up better on camera, but I think you kind of got a little bit of an idea of what it looks like in the dark. But my camera just doesn't do too well with uh, being in the dark. It just didn't want to focus on the glow-in-the-dark features at all, so it kept blinking in and out. But this little guy is going to be in my Etsy shop, so if anyone wants to give him a home, check the links down below for that. I also have links down there to a lot of art supplies that I like using while making my art dolls. These are affiliated links, so they do help support the channel if you buy anything through them. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!